Hey guys, how's it going? This is an unboxing and first impressions of the Amazon Echo Buds earbuds. So I just heard about these like a week ago. They just popped up on Amazon when I was shopping and they looked really interesting. So I got them on pre-order and they officially come out tomorrow. I somehow got this a day early. So very excited to bring this video to you guys. So Amazon is now taking their stab in the very saturated earbud market and they are offering Alexa capabilities. They are also claiming premium sound, listen to dynamic, clear audio and limit background noise with Bose active noise reduction technology and 20 hours of charging from the charging case, which does look a little bit larger. So at the time of this video, these retail for $130. I'll leave a link down in the description. You can buy them on Amazon because they are Amazon earbuds. So without further ado, let's check these out. So here's our earbuds, pretty sizable case. Let's see what else we get in the box. We get a micro USB cable, surprise not USB type C. Let's see what else we get in the box. It's a nice touch. We have some ear tips and wing tips as well. So these look pretty big. Let's take a look at these. These should provide a pretty comfortable fit because these do feel pretty nice. Let's see what else we get in the box. On logo on there on the front. So a matte finish case, plastic. Kind of hollow, but kind of sturdy at the same time. There's our micro USB slot. Let's go ahead and check out the buds. So there we have it. This is our charging case. You can see there's this extra bump here. That's probably just a whole bunch of extra battery that you can use. Have an indicator on the bottom there. Looks like it's going into pairing mode. So we'll just go ahead and jump right into pairing here. So right away, we got our Echo Buds. Go ahead and pair right away. Yeah, so definitely a lot more size to these. It looks like most of it's gonna be sticking out of your ear. I'll give you guys a look at them in the ears. So obviously a much larger case than what we're accustomed to, but it is claiming 20 hours of additional battery life, which is quite good. So that's four additional charges on top of the earbuds themselves being charged up for five hours. Now the case definitely makes a lot of noise when you close it. Definitely has a bang to it, opposed to the Galaxy Buds, pretty quiet. We have our LED indicator light on the outside. So it does take a few seconds, but standard to other earbuds that we've seen, you open the case, you put the earbuds in, and they automatically connect and turn on. That is a very nice feature. So even though it's a larger case as well, it does have a rounded design, which will work well in pockets and is nice to hold, and just not liking that micro USB port, but other than that, as far as the aesthetics go, as far as the physical form factor of everything here, everything looks in check. So I'll show some B-rolls now, but when you put these in your ears, it does sense that they're in your ears and you'll get a little chime that they are turned on and ready to play music for you. But with that rounded design, hopefully they look okay, they don't look too obnoxious in the ears, but these are very snug in the ears but also very comfortable at the same time. So knowing that these are pretty snug, it should be able to take advantage of those Bose noise reduction technologies pretty well. After downloading the Amazon Alexa app, you can go into set up devices, and we're gonna go ahead and hit the Echo Buds to connect those to the app. And there we go, your earbuds are ready. So a double tap on the earbud will allow pass through hearing. We can adjust it now to the level we want to. And then to cut out that ambient noise, just double tap the earbuds again and you go back into that Bose noise reduction technology. You can use Google Assistant on the Echo Buds by lightly holding down on either earbud. Looks like we got a video of a quick tutorial of the buds. They should feel snug, secure, and comfortable. You can customize touch controls later in the app settings using just your voice. Give it a try. Alexa, play feel good music. Set reminders and check your calendar, all hands free. So there's all these different things you can do that Alexa's capable of and they claim that Alexa's gonna get smarter and smarter and begin to get more things. But let's go ahead and just try out a couple of these commands, see how it works. So unfortunately I was not able to get this on camera and in the video for you guys, but basically it works just like any other Amazon Echo device, just say Alexa and your command and it's gonna go ahead and do it. It's very responsive, it responds quick, and it's very enjoyable to use, it works well. Now this might seem silly, but the new Mine All Day song by PewDiePie and Party in Backyard has really good bass in the instrumentals and I found it to be a good tester of bass in my earbuds and headphones. So that's the first test I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be looking at the bass here and seeing how strong the bass is. So just listen to a couple tracks on both the Galaxy Buds and the Amazon Echo Buds. The Galaxy Buds definitely have better bass, but the Echo Buds definitely are just as loud as the Galaxy Buds, have just as good sound quality in my opinion, honestly. Just that bass is just lacking a little bit, but it's still really good. 
I'm very impressed initially here. You're getting comparable sound quality, but you're also getting those Amazon Alexa features, which it is cool because you can just randomly say Alexa and ask a question and get your answer. You don't have to press any of the earbuds or do any special settings. You can just at any time, you can just say, hey, Alexa, and get the weather or add something to your shopping list or open up a certain song on Spotify or, or just have it tell you anything you want. Really cool that it has that functionality on it. I'm also initially impressed by the touch controls. The touch controls work very well. Every time I did a command on those, they worked every single time. And something else I'm looking forward to with these Echo Buds, they have a very snug fit in the ear. I don't think I'll have any issues with disconnections. I've had this problem with my Galaxy Buds for the whole time I've owned them. They kind of slip out of your ear just a little bit and then you lose connection. You have to retwist it in your ear and kind of drive it into your ear more to get that connection back. But these are certainly snug. And even though they're snug, they're very comfortable in the ear. I'm liking that combination of they definitely have a snug fit for that noise reduction. And a quick word on that noise reduction, it works. I don't know if it's great or not, but it does cancel out a lot of noise. So initially, impressed overall. These are $130 on Amazon. Link will be in the description. Official release date is October 30th. Definitely I'm looking forward to testing these more out. So let me know what questions you guys have about them in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the Shane Simons YouTube channel today. I hope to see you around for the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.